Hello. Yes, me. Okay. Um, setting up my screen. Okay. So. Good morning, everyone. Yes, okay. So, good morning, everyone. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone for coming in. Um, it's another Friday, and it's another day for learning. Now, today, um, I'll be discussing about key points in online marketing. Now, these are the things that real estate persons need to know about how the online world is okay how how we deal with online online marketing now prior to presenting the products of property 24 and carousel the key points in online marketing um posted on your screen is my name my mobile number my email and my facebook account okay and my facebook account so you can add me on facebook para at least you can see some updates and some motivational some things that I can share it once in a while in my wall. So, and if you have further inquiries about property and property twenty four and carousel, then you can just chat to me right away. Okay. So if you have your pens and your notebooks with you, it's very helpful that you're going to jot down notes para at least you can have more information about some important key points in online marketing. Now, this will be the topics that will be discussed or we will be covering today, your visuals, your story, content marketing, your business objectives, your audience, your unique selling points, and how we build your business. Okay? Now, when you do online marketing, it is not just online marketing when you do online marketing it's not just ah okay i'm going to post online because it's what everybody is doing ah okay i'm going to post online because it's what my colleagues are telling me to do now when you do when you decide to do online marketing you have to arrange everything everything must be aligned especially number one on your story okay now I believe everybody has a social media account. Now, on your stories, if you can check with you your stories on your social media accounts, what is your story? Okay, how do you want your clients to see your story, and how do you want your clients to know about you? Now, if you can check all your social media accounts, what kind of story do you want to impart to your clients? Okay, now if you check your stories. How do you want them to see you on your story? Now, if you are building or starting business in on the online world, you have to find your voice. You have to build a core foundation and you have to be the best you on your social media accounts. Now, you have to share stories related to the profession you're into. You have to let the people know that you are in the real estate business. Be the best you on your social media accounts. If you attended seminars and webinars like this, post it in your wall. Share to them that you are attending seminars and webinars like this so that people will know that you are in the real estate industry. If you, if you have site tours and... Um, road drippings share it on your wall and let the people know that you are having a site tour if you have closed a sale 
let the people know that you have closed the sale. Now, build a core foundation or invest big on your social media accounts. You know, like, you, it's not just the product itself. It's not just, and kanan baligyan mo, but also you have to share things that are related to the profession you're in right now. We have interior design, we have landscaping, the products that you sell, of course, and the best you on your stories. Now, online marketing, we have this so-called the digital citizenship. What you like, what you post, and what you even share online has a big impact on your credibility as a salesperson. Now, what you like online will be seen by your buyers. What you post online will be seen by your buyers. And what you share online will be seen by your buyers. Now, for example, if ako si buyer, and then I'm going to search Isa Bakurnay, okay? I'm going to search Isa Bakurnay. Pero, when I search Isa Bakurnay, ang nakita sa buyer have multiple accounts. I think, let's say I have five accounts. What do you think your buyer would think if they can see na ay five accounts sa inyong social media? The same is true when doing online shopping. Okay? When you do online shopping, prior to buying the product, you have to check the reviews, diba? You, you check the reviews of the seller. You check if the seller is a scabber or not. You check if the seller is legit or not. What is the difference between us, salesperson, and those who are selling goods? So it's also the same, okay? Just It's just that the product is not the same. Now, what if your buyers will see that you have multiple accounts? What do you think your buyer would think? What if your buyers would see that the stories that you've been sharing to them or the stories that you've been posting is not related to the profession you're in right now? what will your buyers think? If you have been sharing unrelated posts to your business right now, what do you think your buyers can think? So you have to maintain or you have to invest more in building a digital empire. Invest more on the stories that you post. Invest more on the likes that you've been um, liked and the shares that you've been posting. Be the best you on your stories. Share stories about who you are. Let the people know who you are in your profession right now. Okay? Next one. Our visuals. Now, 95% of your buyers nowadays are visual learners. So, it has to be quality, creative, and consistent. Okay? Now, quality. Quality photography is very essential to the appearance of your site. It highlights your level of professionalism while improving your credibility. Now, if you can check this picture on your screen. Now, the left side photo is major dark sha and the right side is major light sha. Now, we have to maintain the concept na picture pa lang, your buyer wants to buy the property na. Okay? We have to maintain the concept that you are selling millions to your clients. It has to look, and it, you have, it has to look like millions. Just like, for example, when you go to a mall, okay? Tapos, you want to shop mm, clothes. Okay? Let's say we'll shop clothes. So, there are two kinds of clothes. Yung isang cloth or isang garment is medyo nasa gisi. It's torn. And then the other garment, it's beautiful pa. It's clean, beautiful. So what do you think would you choose? Is it the torn clothing or yung medyo crispy pa yung clothing? The same is true when purchasing or when looking at your listings online. Now, I've seen so many posts. It's not just in the social media, but also real estate platforms, buy and sell platforms. Why is it that it is very difficult for sellers to post quality photos? Why is it they, they don't put passion on their postings? Why is it that the, the photos that they're 
posting a blurred screenshot photos makita pa nga makita pa ang na ay low bat dito ang screenshot so what do you think your the impression di ba first impressions last so would you want your buyers to see or to feel a negative impression towards your listing because you are uploading unquality photos so it levels it highlights the levels of your professionalism and your credibility okay please upload quality organized and professional photos so we have our mobile phones with us we have we can download apps na um we can download apps that it that can emphasize the contrast of your listings or the visuals so we have to do it so para para naman at least we can present to our client the best listing or the best real estate property from our visuals number two creativeness okay we also have to be creative on our listing so a good listing is always a unique listing okay now our goal okay our go aside from closing hundreds and millions of listings our goal is to let our listings to be a thumb stopper one how to have a thumb stopper listing paano kaya magiging thumb stopper yung listing let's say when the buyer is browsing and then the 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 buyer will stop on your listing and check your listing that would be our goal so we have to be creative on our post number 1 rules of marketing sign okay you can upload or you can write down a caption on every picture of your listing your mobile number as posted here on your left side if you can see the listing it has a mobile number of the seller you can upload that or you can write a caption with your mobile number please make sure that you do not overlap the picturistic quality of the photo okay some are posting photos pero you intend to cover the whole property okay yung just like small lang little picture lang of your mobile number or a little lang right mobile. that's rules of marketing sign give clients sign give clients ways that your client will remember you by posting your number and your name on every photo just make sure that the photo is not dirty. Just make sure that the photo is clean. Just make sure that it's not dirty looking. Because the purpose of posting quality photos is to let the buyer see the actual photo. But some are already posting it, yung numbers na. So you're, you're not selling the number. You are selling the listing. Number two, take advantage of innovation. Upload videos. Okay, if you can upload videos on your Property24 accounts, please do so. You can use YouTube while uploading videos, video marketing. But please make sure that even if you upload videos, it is still soundproof. Meaning, your buyers will still stop at your listing and visit the, your ad without even hearing the sound. Soundproof dapat ang videos. Another one. We can also add some captions, okay? Especially nowadays that you have minimal movements. If you can see on this picture, the last one, um, they describe me agent, yung view niya, okay? Of this window. Like, the view of this window is the backyard. So, at least your clients will know that, ah, this, this is a backyard view, the eye of the video. So, you cannot be creative in your photo if you haven't been to the place, okay? It would also be nice if you have visited the area first before telling it to your clients. What is the exact neighborhood? What are the surroundings of the property? It would also be nice that instead of placing or putting the map on the listing, you you visualize it let's say for example this one urban deca home this is in labangon so it's very near to smc side we have schools we have landmarks there so post this 
include it in your listing. Okay? What are the nearest colleges? What are the nearest shopping malls? What are the nearest hospitals? What are the nearest churches? So, um, uh, post it also the nearest landmarks to the listing. It's also important that you let your clients know about the neighborhood. Okay? Next one, consistency. You have to be consistent on your listing. Now, if you can see, like what I said, you are actually posting, um, you're actually posting millions, okay? You're actually presenting millions to your clients. Now, if you can, if, if you can see the picture, okay? If you can see the picture, now, um, first photo, second photo, third photo, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now, you are selling millions. Then is this the is this the kind of property do you want your clients to see? Medyo yung ads, yung pictures niya, although kinolage na, pero it's not, the sizes are not the same. Diba? Now, your visuals are the main attraction of your posting. Okay, consistency is the key. Now, if you can check here, she uploaded this one, the, the interior, and then the exterior, and then the houses, and then the map. So this is how we place, this is how we arrange our photos. You know, let's put passion in everything that we do. Let's be consistent. If you have uploaded the first photo of your listing is a very superb quality, nice and picturistic picture, then continue it. Upload the same quality of the photos on your listing. It is very important that you're consistent on your listing. Diba? Because we want to sell. We want to generate leads. We want to generate sales. But we have to upload the level of the amount of the pictures on your ad. Alright? Next one. Content marketing. Now, like what I said, though 95% of your buyers nowadays are visual learners, our content also is very important. It must be engaging, it must be creative, it, you have to be the broader source or resource of information out of your ad. Now, content, this is the description. If you can check from left to right, okay? From left, this price range is 16 to 126 million. Size range is 67 to 214 square meters. The amenities. And then on the right side, this is Seikyung, different, different property. So, Pinos niya yung kitchen cabinet, unit details, and then the sample computation. Ah, excuse me sample computation and then what else what else here and uh, description above so for your content you have to let your buyers make it easy for you to understand okay make your buyers easy to understand make your buyers understand you or make it easy for your buyers to understand your post now some buyers okay some buyers they do not understand what is equity. Some buyers, they do not understand what is TCP. Some buyers, they do not understand what is SPOT. So, let your buyers understand the easiest way na pwede mo i-present to your client. Okay? Of course, I believe usong-uso ang copy-paste. But if you copy and paste, please make sure that the one that you pasted is easy for your buyers to understand. Let your buyers understand the easiest way. You know, make it easy for your buyers to understand your content. You need not to post very long and very, very bahabat na content. You need not to post that. Make it short and engaging and direct to the point. And you have to understand what you post. Because if you, don't, if you don't understand what you post, then your buyers couldn't understand as well. Okay? Edit your content. You know, 
the way you post your listings online, it's, it is a reflection of what kind of seller you are. Okay, let's say for example, if mag-post ka of listings, number one, your visuals are unorganized. Number two, your content is unorganized. It shows what kind of person, what kind of seller you are. If you are an organized one, or if you are a passionate one, or if you are a uh, walalang one. So you have to check the 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 way you post your listings. Okay. Do not sell houses. Sell experiences. Next one. Our business objectives, okay? I believe, hindi lang sa real estate industry, everybody or every businessman has a, real, uh, has a business objective. So what is our objective for this day? We have to increase our sales. We want to increase our sales. We want to increase foot traffic. We want to increase lead generation. Now, if we want to increase our sales, we have to start posting now. Let's say, I want to generate leads. I want, gusto ko makabenta, pero I'm not posting. I'm only posting two to three to four ads. Okay? I want to increase my sales, pero I do not share stories. That is, I, I do not let people know that I'm in the real estate industry. I want to increase food traffic, pero I'm not posting quality, creative, and consistent photos. I want to increase lead generation, but I, may, I am not contactable. I want to increase brand awareness, but I don't show the best of me on my story. So we have to start it by ourselves. We want to increase our sales. Start it. Start by posting one ad today. We want to increase our sales. Then start by posting another ad later. Increase sales by start posting another ad in a while. Increase sales by posting ads now. Increase food traffic by posting quality photos. Increase food traffic by posting creative and consistent photos. Increase lead generation by making myself available online. What is, the, what, is the, uh, no, what is the standard of being online? Okay? You can be online maybe thrice a week. Or if daily, puede. Increase brand awareness and share stories related to the profession you're in right now. Share stories. Let the people know that you are in the real estate industry. Share stories that you have attended seminars and webinars like this that you are hungry for knowledge and you want to learn more. So that is our business objective. And we start it with ourselves. Not tomorrow, but now. Okay? Next one. Who is who? Now, we research our clients or we target our clients through demographic profile. We target our clients through their job jobs and we target our clients to the level of their interest let's say how do we target clients and why do we need to retarget our clients through demographic profile let's say number one profiling millennials generation z generation x single dad single mom veterans so let's say for example demographic profile millennials how much do you think can millennials afford to buy property? So we list it down. So millennials can afford maybe, so what's the age bracket ni millennials? So from 1980s to year, starting from 1980s to 2000, so mga 30 years, 20 years old to 35 years old, those are millennials. So what's the age bracket ni millennials? And if you know what kind of job they're in, then you will know what kind of, what type of property you will offer them. Diba? So how much do you think millennials can afford? Could they afford 10 million properties? Could they afford 5 million properties? Could they afford 1 million properties? So we have to retarget our audience. We have to retarget who our client is. 
we have to probe our clients. Never stop asking to your clients. Never stop probing your clients. Research them according to their jobs. Doctors, engineers, um, doctors, engineers, um, um, government officials, mga secretaries, teachers, police. So how much do you think are they earning in a month? Okay? So level your client, level, I mean, research your clients according to their job. Next one, level of interest. Mga pet lovers, food vloggers, entertainers, mga, mga DJs. So how much do you think are they earning? If you know the type of the type of client you're talking to, then you know what type of property you're going to offer them. And please do not forget to list it down. Okay? Please do not forget to write down in Sanisha what kind of job. It's very, also very important that you have your CRM with you. Okay? Next one, unique selling point. What makes you different from the other sellers? Are you innovative enough? And how much time do you spend on your ad? Now, I believe um, every realty has a uh, top seller. Okay, I, I have known this top seller. He is investing around thirty to fifty thousand per month on his ads. But how much is he earning? He is investing about normally thirty gidal invest per month. That's thirty thousand per month on his ads. He hired five secretaries for his ads. How much is he learn, earning? So what makes you different from the other sellers? Some of us may think, ah, this is another expense. Ah, doing ads. Are lang ko sa free week. Free rabitaw ni. But you do not see the advantage of posting sponsor, or, or turning into sponsoring ads than the free ads. What makes you different from the others is, are you innovative enough? Are you the one na, ah, okay, I'll just post it for free, okay? Wala pa ko nakahalin. That's a mindset, a Filipino mindset. Ah, wala pa ko nakahalin, unyan na lang ko mag-ads kung makahalin ko. What makes you different from the other sellers? Compared to the person who are earning this much, spending around thirty to 50000 per month for his ads only. Hired five secretaries for his ads only. So how much is he earning? He's the top seller of John Dorf. If you happen to know Mark Anthony Lau from a different reality. So he's a top seller of John Dorf. I think I, I haven't seen Pero. He told me na he has been he has already purchased around 20 properties for himself. With only 30,000 to 50,000 per month on his ads. In a unique selling point, find it in yourselves. Or what makes you different from your service? Are you innovative enough? Do you accept these changes or do you accept this innovation as an asset? Now, service. What do, you, what do your clients want out of your service? Okay, do you want, do you want do your clients? Does your client want a fast service or kailangan hinihini lang a service? You're doing best on your work. Number two, how do you talk to your clients or how do you treat your clients? Like, do you call them? Like, when you call them, do you, do you talk to them with enthusiasm? Do you talk to them with, with, with happiness? So how, the, the way you treat your clients will also affect your salesmanship. You know, lying down talking to your clients then sitting down talking to, to your clients has a different style. So you have to study that also. Next one, your sales or your track record? Do you show your clients your track record? Are you showing enough story? So are you showing the best story that you are? Are you showing the best you on your story? After sales. So some clients or some agents, after they talk to the client and the client would say no, they will never talk to the clients now. So it's also, it also includes your after sales. It's very important that you take care of your clients as well. It does not end on the reservation. It only ends 
when the client is already dead. Ito. Your after sales is also very important because your after sales, they will refer and refer and refer you if you are a good salesperson or if you have good salesmanship. Okay? Now, be the best you find it in yourself. Compare yourself from the top sellers on your reality. Am I doing enough? Or what, what is it that this person is the top seller? What are her techniques? Find her techniques. Check. If you can find the way na how did, she, how did your top seller maximize her ads, para naman you can also experience it yourself. Okay? Business. Now, the, once you start with the real estate business, industry it's already your business and you can never go far away from that business now let's define our challenges okay because we're building our business we define our challenges we set realistic expectations and we have to keep our eyes on the goal so we define our challenges what are the challenges when doing online marketing number one kailangan tayo ng load number two we need to have an internet connection Number three, we need budget for our boosting. Now, these three are very essential in running your business. So, this is your business. You are already a businessman. So, we have to set or we have to prioritize these three essential things that we need for our business. If, if we want the business, if, you're, if we want your business to run, we have to define our, your challenges and we have to prioritize it. Diba? Kailangan ko ng load because I want to reply to my clients. I need an internet connection because I want my business to run. I need budget for my business because it's what runs my business. I need budget for my business because it is the only way that I can get interested buyers. We have to set realistic expectation. We have to think that we cannot or it cannot be mastered overnight. Okay, we have to think normal business nga would take, take around three to five months bago maka, maka profit. The normal business invested with lights, invested with space, commercial spaces, invested with tables and chairs. If you're doing restaurant, tables and chairs, it cannot, it's not mastered overnight. You have to set realistic expectation. Like when you post, when you post today, you want to generate today. But Remember that you are not selling hundreds. You are selling millions. So be realistic. Okay? Be realistic on your ads. Be realistic on the profession you're in. And be realistic with the comp competition you have. Keep your eye on the goal. So our goal is number one, to make our, thumb, uh, to make our listings thumb stopper. Our goal is number one, to make our listing a thumb stopper one. Number two, to generate or to talk to as many clients as we can. That is our goal. So, um, your realty is a very great realty because you have mentorship programs. Be hungry for knowledge always. And, you know, learn, learn, and learn. Do not, afraid, do not be afraid to ask questions to your upline. Okay? Now, now, I will be discussing the tools that will help you on your business, Property24 and Carousel. Now, who are we? Okay, Property24 is a real estate website. We're based in South Africa. And Carousel, on the other hand, is a buy and sell website. We're also based in Southeast Asia or mainly in Singapore. Now, this is Property24. It's a real estate website. We can be downloaded via app. You just download Property24 and we can also be viewed via web. Now, the things that you can post on Property24 are this. You have foreclosed properties, house and lot, reselling, RFOs, land and farms, condominiums, brokerage, mga rentals, anything that you can think of that's related to the real estate can be posted in Property24 in the entire Philippines. Real estate listings and in the entire Philippines. Carousel, on the other hand, it's a, real, it's a general category website. Anything that you can see on your naked eye 
can be posted in carousel we have jobs mobile phones fashion property video gaming sports home services luxury everything else that you can think of na pwede ibalik ya can be posted in carousel now all listings that you can think inside the philippines can be posted both in p24 and carousel but how far can your listings go or what is your reach okay now of course your view, your listings can be viewed inside the philippines but if you want international views or if you want to tap ofws and foreigners it is also high time that you post in property 24 and carousel because your listings are not just being shared inside the philippines but also internationally okay meaning there are buyers that will inquire to p24 from abroad you have foreigner clients you can also have ofw clients now prior to presenting uh, the products of p24 and carousel let us discuss first about your sales funnel now the sales funnel this is how you can determine your ways or the clients or who you talk to now when you start doing real estate the first thing that comes into your mind is kinsa ang pwede na ko baligyan who kinsa ang sino ang pwede kong bentahan okay now the first thing that pops into our minds are number 1 our lahat ng kkk kaibigan kapatid kakampi ka kaaway kapamilya kapuso um, kapitbahay, lahat ng K. All Ks that we can think of are your leads. Okay? All Ks that we can think of are your leads. So let's say you have 500 leads or 500 friends, 500 Facebook friends, 500 friends on your phone book, 500. Now, of course, these 500 people that you think you qualify them. You check if they can afford. Baka si friend mo na number one, she cannot afford. Baka si friend mo na number two, she cannot afford. So you qualify them. So those are what we call our qualified leads. Now let's say from your 500 friends, 20% lang ang qualified. Okay? 20% lang ang qualified. So it's down to 100 qualified leads. Now, lahat lang 100 qualified leads now. You text them. You, you text them if they're interested to purchase properties. You know, you let them know that you're selling properties. Maybe they would want to buy real estate listings. Now, these are what we call our interested buyers now. So ngayon, si qualified leads, we, naging, we text our qualified leads if they are interested in purchasing a property. So let's say 20% lang. So, 20 na lang natitirang interested buyers from your qualified leads. Now, si interested buyers, we invite them to do the site tour. So, you text them, oh, let's, let's do site tour. Now, when you invite them, 20% na lang din ang interested or wants to view the site. Okay? So, we have four. Now, for this four, then we can close one sale okay we close one sale out of these four site views now when you start doing real estate business it's not how many closed sales you have but it's how many interested buyers you talk to now some may question me mom um i haven't had a sale so let's go back to question number one how many side views have you had? Sabi natin, mam may three na ako. So maybe kailangan pa ng isang more, isang side view pa para you can close the sale. Mom, I didn't have any side tour. Hindi ako nakakapag side tour. Maybe you need to talk to more interested buyers. Maybe you need to find more qualified leads. Now, property twenty four and carousel are giving to interested buyers, but the same experience inside the 818 Realty. Um, there is this buyer daw na nag-inquire siya to this agent one. 
So, nag-inquire siya to Agent 1. Tapos si Agent 1, matagal siyang nag-reply. Okay? Now, the same buyer inquired to Agent number 2. Pero si Agent number 2 replied agad. So, si Agent number 2 yung nakabenta. So, it also depends on how you talk to your clients. Again, your UFP. So, P24 and Carousel are giving you interested buyers. But you have to reply it with urgency. You have to reply your buyers directly para because it's normal for a buyer to talk to one to five agents. It's very normal because they're in search. So you have to find more interested buyers for you to be able to have four side views. You have to find 20 interested buyers for you to be able to have four. You have to find 40 interested buyers for you to be able to have eight side views. Diba? So, the real estate industry or your sales funnel, it's a numbers game. It's how many interested, interested buyers you've talked to. It's how many qualified leads that you've qualified. Now, when you post online, it has to be data-driven. Why am I posting to this website? Why am I posting to this website? And why am I posting to the social media? You have to know how many people log into that account. You have to know the traffic of that website. It has to be data-driven. Because, for example, you post on this one, you post on this certain website, okay? You post to this portal, pero there's no traffic. So there's no purpose then. Diba? So you have to know how many people log into that website para you will know how many leads it will generate, how many qualified leads and interested buyers you can get. Okay? Now, so, going back to Property24, this is P24, real estate listings from all over the Philippines. Now, let's say, for example, I like this, Liko sa Cebu City. Now, we have two products in Property24. We have the featured listing and the standard listing. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, I like this one, this ad. Ah, the difference pala of featured listing and standard listing. So, the featured listing, you're placed on top of the website. Kayo ang number one. Now, standard listing, for example, I like this. Now, the details of the property, the listing number, how many bedrooms, the amount. So, what if I like this listing? So, I am going to inquire. I'm going to write my name, my email, my mobile number, and my message. Now, pagka-click ko sa send message, the agent na nag-post will receive an email notification and an SMS notification na nasa inquiry from that certain property in that certain location. Example, the name of our buyer is Mary Rodriguez. The, the number of the buyer is 0927-627-4514 and the address of the property that she inquired is in Guadalupe and it costs 1.9 million. So, it is you. It is you na who will talk to your client. Your interaction between you and your buyer, it's up to you na. Okay? So, we do not know if you have already replied to your buyer. We do not know if you have already talked to your buyer. We do not know whatsoever if ano nang nangyari sa inyo with your buyer because we're only until lead generation. So, you'll be the one to contact your buyer na. Now, this is only in Property24. Now, all your listings will be cross-posted to Carousel. Okay? Now, if you have five postings in Property24, you will also have five postings in Carousel. Your first post, then we will create you a Carousel account. Now, this is also in Carousel. Carousel is enabling you to do private chats. Then we have products in Carousel like the Spotlight and the Bump. It's also the same with the featured listing in Property24 just so that sas Carousel, it's Spotlight and Bump. Now, in Carousel, your buyers will also communicate to you through private chat. Different pa din yung lead generation, yung SMS notification. Pero mas may chat tayo in Carousel than Property24. So you just log into your account, go to me, and then check your chats. So these are the inquiries from your buyers again. Okay? 
For the spotlight and the bump, it will be discussed to you separately once you subscribe with us. Now, how do we generate leads or how are we going, how do we sell your listing? Okay. Now, if buyers go to Google, you know, if, I, if I'm searching for properties, of course, buyers will go to Google. Now, house and lot for sale in Cebu City. Then, we'll pop up see property 24. Then, all listings will be posted that continuous and ads on lead generation. Number two, we have, so, we have a social media account for both Carousel and Property24. We have one in Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Okay? So your listings can also be shared there in our, our social media ads. Number three, through Google Ads. Okay? Now, your listings, for example, like browse, browse lang ka on the internet. You're, you're just browsing on the internet. And then, mo suddenly, mo pop up ang property twenty four. That's how we market your listings as well. And then, lastly, the email marketing. Okay, for the email marketing, clients um, see property twenty four. It's intelligent na. So the last amount of the property na, the last amount of the property na search ni buyer. So P24 will be feeding them with the same amount from different agents. So that is our alerts for email marketing. Different kinds of properties will be sent to the email of the seller okay, or the agent. Now that's it for my presentation. Now this is my, my name, my email, my mobile number, and my Facebook account is posted on your screen. Now I'll be sharing with you our... October rates exclusive to B eight one eight three LT. Wait for a while. Okay. Now these are our rates for our for October. If you have questions. Um, do you have any questions where I can explain the packages? Guys, you may wanted to ask some questions, so you just uh, throw it out, okay, Miss Isa. More questions? Okay, so let's start with the 30 ads, okay? So for our rate, we have 30 listings or you can post up to 30 ads, okay? Maximum natin is 30 ads. So for your 30 ads, our monthly subscription is only 1,300 pesos per month. Now, what you can get, you get two featured listings per month in Property24, and then 1,500 monthly coins in carousel for your boostings in carousel. This is for free lang. Two featured listing and one five points in carousel. Monthly subscription fee is only 1,300 per month. That's roughly around one peso and 40 centavo per ad. Ngayon siya kabarato. So, it will be deducted. Uh, we do not accept cash, okay? Um, our payment is via auto debit, credit card, or check. So it will be deducted monthly to your, ano, to your banks na 1,300 per month. You did not to pay full. You can pay in full, but you did not. Pay. Pwede siya one per month. Okay. Question. Hi, Ma'am Isa. Good morning. Hello, Ma'am. Good morning. Grace here. Hello, Ma'am. Apo, ah, uh, dun sa, kaka, ang tawag nito, dun sa posting, di ba? Actually, natry ko na yun yung bumping eh. Na actually, natry ko na siya. Kung paano siya gawin. Nakabete na rin ako nung, <laughs> ako sa carousel kasi na, uh, uh, isa lang na. Pero at sa akin, nakaka, nagagawa ko na siya actually. 
Tatanong ko oh, lang po kasi din, ma'am. Uh, last month lang, last in last one month lang. Pero no, hindi no? pa property na bibenta ko, ha? Wala pa ang property. But hoping ah, na okay. makabatin mm-hmm. ako ng property through the carousel. Pero I have na mga inquiries na mm-hmm. sa carousel, I do know na how to chat kahit na medyo inaaral ko pa lang siya. But the question mm-hmm. is, kunwari this month, kasi second month ko na, diba? Mm-hmm. Oh, tatid na kasi siya with my Gcash account. Mm-hmm. Uh, kailangan ko bang burahin yung iba kung mga listings or um, ano? If you have ito? new ads, ma'am, if you want to update your ads, pwede. Uh-uh. You can, pa, paano you can siya? Ah. I'll, I'll, I'll share the screenshot with you po. Sa okay, okay, sige. sige. Ano ba, para at least pa ano, pa ano ko. Kasi nag-renew na this month, kaya gusto ko siyang malaman kung paano siya kung kailangan ko bang mag-delete or mag mag change ng mga ano para uh, sa akin mga you can actually update your ads once in a while ah, uh, okay kasi it's very normal for a web walang website kasi if you want your listings na ma-place on top as in refresh siya you have to upload new ones so you can also update your listings Okay, kasi na-chinay ko yung listings ko ngayon. Parang sa 30, tapos adi, pag nag-add ako na panibago, like meron kami mga projects ngayon ng uh, Maya Scapes, ganyan. Tapos yung nearby, like we have new in Quezon City. So, mm-hmm. nag-post naman na ako doon. Pero, mm-hmm. kaya gusto ko malaman, kasi di ba 30 listings lang ang meron ako, mm-hmm. i-delete ko ba yung the rest? Ay, yung iba na posting? Kasi chinay yes, ko ma'am. naman siya. Lahat siya, ah, kailangan ko ma-delete. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Para, kasi nakikita ko dun, active. Kasi yung kasi iba ko mga post. Kasi active ka. Yung kinakount lang ng system is active. Yung active lang yung account. Tapos yung the rest, mm-hmm. ma, no, di na siya magiging active. Ah, okay. Sige, 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 sige. Thank you. I-charge ko sa'yo, ma'am, later. Yung ah, okay. Sige, maraming salamat. Close, mag- mag-delete. Question? More question. Any more question, guys? So here, yung yung nag-question ng rates. Ayan, nakikita nyo na ang rates sa uh, sa screen. You can pay it through uh, your GCash, uh, auto debit, auto debit mm-hmm. or better yet, if you don't have the the card for GCash, you download PayMaya. Now PayMaya offers. Ano, a virtual ano, virtual, virtual card, card no yeah. so that can be used tapos easy easy naman mag-reload sa PayMaya same as GCash you can go to any 7-Eleven outlets your contact oh, okay. num- your contact number again miss uh, hmm, my mobile number is yeah. Okay. Any more question? Uh, for mine, uh, mine in your apps there is sa PayMaya. No, you don't need a an actual card in your PayMaya application. You can actually look at it don sa online card. My online card yan. So you explore your application. You can see that in there sa PayMaya. Tingnan mo yun sa baba na may may button na my cards, no? You click you click on the my cards and there it will appear online online payment card. So you use that. No si mine, si mine is actually asking na wala daw siyang card. You go to your application and click my card. And in my card, lalabas jan ang virtual card mo na pwede mong magamit through online purchases like like pre like P twenty four or Carousel. No? <coughs> no, Mama C. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When ka available? <laughs> um, Mapagi ko kay start, ma'am. Nag-study pa lang ko. Now, I can have someone call you, sir, for your posting. We need to schedule it, kasi. 
Study pa ko ma'am. Yes ma'am, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Mine. Again, mine ha. Dili na siya ipadala ang card. Naa sa imuhang application, imong pisliton ang my card. So makita ni mo diha ang online payment card. No. No si mine, no si mine. Dili ka kinahanglan maghulat sa card because ang virtual card naa sa imuhang application. Sa imo mo login ka dito sa imuhang PayMaya account. Then, imong pislito ng my cards. Makita ni mo diha ang picture sa imuhang card. Na naman diha ang detalye para sa online transaction. So mauna siya ang imong ihatag ni Miss Isa. Dili ka Miss Till magpaabot sa actual na card. Sir, um, ma okay. Sir, Uh, for Ma'am Maricel, we will be the one to create you an account, Ma'am, ah, in okay. Carousel. For both P24 and Carousel. Um, we have a payment first policy. Yung first payment ang kailangan natin ipay para we can activate your account. Ma'am Isa, may question na ali ako. Ako lagi nag-question. <laughs> Okay lang, Kasi bago rin naman ako dito sa industry. Um, Matatanong ano, ko lang po. <laughs> Wala ay na mag-question na yata sila eh. Tawag nito ma'am. Kasi yung dati ko na gumawa kasi ako ng talagang bago ko talaga na Facebook para talaga sa, in sa industry na to. So pwede ka bang ma-shift yung current ko na Facebook account para ma-post ko dun sa bago ko na more on properties na Facebook, benta. Facebook, um, Pwede ba yun? Uh, Paano kaya siya? You can create your own Facebook account. Pero hindi, I have na kasi na. Hindi, ang ganun ko po kasi. Ang dati ko po nakalink kasi, yung personal ko po talaga. So, na nagpapost ako sa carousel, nag-automatic link siya, di ba? Doon sa Facebook. Hmm. Tatanong ko, kung pwede ba siyang ma-transfer? Ma Um, uh, yung tinatrack namin in your carousel account man is your mobile number and your email man. Kaso ah, yun yun. So walang kanalaman yun. So pwede kong matransfer yun sa yes. current ko na na Facebook. Ganon? Uh, Basta sa uh, carousel, your okay. email and mobile number the same with P24. Ah, okay. Sige, sige. Thank you uh, po. I, Grace, Grace, I think yes, I, sir. Um, you're using mobile phone when you share the, the carousel post or P24 post. Ah, pa nagpo-post ako sir ng ano, gamit ko yung computer, pa nagpo-post ako ng listings. Madala ako gumagamit ng mobile phone. When, when you share, you use the the this step also. Apo, ah, pero share, when you share lately, it Facebook, kasi po, lately po kasi pa nag-edit ako gamit yung phone ko. Tapos paggamit ko yung phone ko, pa, I have kasi may apps na po sa carousel, but papunta din for sa web sa computer oh, yeah. talaga gumagamit kasi Ang, mas mayroon po siya galawin eh lalo na yung mga uh, lot area yung mga ano, ang hirap niyang ayusin mo pa yung oh. ano mo yung cellphone mo nakakatagal pa po ng oras so uh, kapag ano po uh, inaayos ko po siya tapos na-express ko na rin po mag-chat actually may mga chat na rin po ako sa car sa yung car car kaso hindi nag-reply na pero okay lang sabi ko email ako ng email sabi ko baka hindi pa siya ready baka ano <laughs> ano ano ang grace uh, the the way to do that para ma-share ma siya dun sa sa dedicated na real estate account mo talaga pag yes, nag pa. pag nagbukas ka ng ano magdagbukas ka ng carousel if ever you are going to use your your mobile phone kasi mabilis dun sa mobile phone pag nag-share yes, ka yes pa mabilis ah, mabilis um, The way Hello? to do that is buksan mo yung ano, you open your your dedicated Karen. FB, FB ah, account okay. na na okay, yung pang business yung may DPPI. Yun ah, ang buksan mo bago ka mag-share sa carousel so mariredirect yan Wait. papunta doon sa new accounts na Ah, okay, sige, sir. Uh, ah sige. Okay. Salamat po nang marami. Okay po. Hello? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. For a while Any more question? Me, me for a while. One minute, please, ha. Magbabay lang ako sa kabila. <laughs> okay. Now, guys, if there's no more questions, Miss, paki-flash uli yung ano mo, yung number para 
screenshot nyo guys. You can contact Miss Isa. After which, yeah. um, she can further help you and facilitate whatever uh, inquiries you're going to have further. But in order for you to be able to engage with your uh, business. Ayan, no? Uh, may dalawang number dyan. Isang Globe at saka isang Smart. May email at saka yung Facebook account. Paki-screenshot na lang para uh, mas madali nyo siyang makontact. I, I would highly suggest na if you could keep in touch with her on a personal level kasi mas ma-ano niya. Mas ma-one-on-one -on -one niya kayo. Okay? Miss, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate yes, sir, it. Thank you. Sa susunod, yes. Miss. Hanggang sa susunod. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Miss. Okay, guys. Yun ang sinasabi ko na tools are very important when you are going to engage in a business. The one that Miss Isa shared actually is a good friend of mine, Mark Lau. No, Mark Lau. Yes, that's true. Mark Lau is actually really investing so much on the digital. No, on the digital. It's because that ang labanan kasi ngayon is Digitalization na talaga. It's either you are on the net or you are already out of business. So, if you're not going to consider actually online facilities, pwede naman actually, pero it would really take time for you to be able to build up your business. Remember guys, time is not on our side with regards to business. Ang kalaban natin dito ay oras. So, habang gumagalaw ang araw, gumagalaw yung orasan, Always remember, a day that you have done nothing, that you've done nothing to the business, I, is a day wasted. So, kung, kung titingnan mo, the desire, yung desire natin na really kumita dito sa negosyo na to is only dependent on your speed, on your effort. No? Yung learning naman kasi, para sa akin, you will do it on, a, on an OJT mode. Eh. The more you do it, the more you immerse yourself with it, you don't have to know everything. Actually, when I started the business 12 years ago, I really did not know everything. I learned the process eventually. As I get into the business, as I attend seminars every now and then, I did not miss any PKS as much as possible during my time. I was there. If there are speakers and trainings that I need to attend, I attend. Why? Because the more... The more knowledge you get, the more you get understanding of the entire industry. And learning comes along. Along by the moment you try to do it. So when you start posting, that's the time that learning begins. When somebody asks you questions, that's the learning begins actually. It is okay when you, when you make mistakes on your first few attempts in posting. Never be afraid to post. Yun ang, yun ang always kong mensahe. Because if you're afraid to post at yung sasabihin mo sa sarili mo na saka ka na mag-post kung master ka na, hindi mangyayari yan. Kasi hindi ka talaga magiging master, not unless you're going to do it first. So, try to, try to start one. Then, one or two projects would be a good way to start. Then, learn in progression. Okay? So, eto, may ira-run through ako. Although, sa iba sa inyo, naririnig na to pa ulit-ulit. But, uh, for those people that are new in here, now this would be a simple tip, no? a simple guide. By the time that you're going to start posting, na balikan ko yung sinabi ni Miss Isa, posting, kasi sinabi niya dun sa Facebook, eh, may, may, may sinabi siya dun na statement that you should post daily, once in a while, um, yung mga ganun na mga statement niya. Isa lang yung mensahe ko dun, eh, dapat consistent. You got to be consistent on what you're doing. Kung baga, if you are going to do it now, you're going to start it now. You've got to do it on a regular basis. Hindi po yung you do it today. Bukas hindi. Bukas makalawa naman. Hindi po ganon. There has to be a certain level of consistency, and consistency it's it's where we always fail. Kasi wala tayong disiplina on that part. So we you've got to sit yourself. In the work mode. No, kailangan talaga ma-iset mo ang sarili mo sa work mode. Because lahat tayo nasa bahay. We are working from home. And that's what we designed for this business to be working from home. I would suggest find a place in your home that will be dedicated for yourself for you to work. Kahit maliit po na lamesa na yan ay dedicated na kung uupo ka dyan, ikaw ay you are set to work. No, you are set to work. Bakit ito? 
Kasi you need to condition your mind in working para you are going to accomplish things. No? Everything begins with a lead. Without a lead, we are nothing. Kumbaga. So everything begins with an inquiry. If no one will inquire you, definitely wala tayong negosyo. If wala ka ring i-post, eh definitely wala ho tayong negosyo. Just like what Lawat Miss Isa said, that you've got to put in the story on your wall. Put a story on your wall, wall what you're doing. Pag nag-attend kayo ng seminar, you can take a screenshot of that and post that. Why? Because you're building stories. You're building stories of yourself building up your credibility. That is the reason why we are calibrating everything right now. We are calibrating everything. It starts with your profile picture that you need to bear the official DPPI profile picture. Why? Because we're building credibility right now. Why we tell you to put the acronym DPPI in your FB account? Because we're trying to build up stories for you. We're trying to build up credibility for you. And the more it builds up, the better it would be for the rest of us. Bakit kasi yung confidence at ang trust level ng kliyente natin mataas no that's what we are working right now so it will always begins with a prospect now when you post something ito yung always na importante talaga na di ba maraming maraming project na binabato diyan sa group chat niyo now it is in your discretion to pick a, to pick your choice kung ano yung project na gusto mong I-post. Ito lang yung isang mensahe ko. Before you post it, kindly read it. Now, before you post it, kindly read it. Why? Because most often than not, the question of your client is actually written in there already. So, ano ba yung kadalasan na question? Magkano? Ma how much ang monthly? Magkano ang down payment? Anong size ng lupa? No? Laki ng bahay. Ano ba yan? Two-story ba yan? Ilang kwarto? Most likely, it's already written in there. The only thing you need to do is simply read it. Yes, we tell you to copy and paste. Siguro, nakalimutan lang nating sabihin, copy, read, and paste. No? Kasi yun talaga dapat. You need to read it. Or better yet, read it first before you copy and before you're going to post it. Because pag may magtanong, at nandun na actually doon sa pinost mo, hindi ka na mahirapan sumagot. Okay. Now, when there are inquiries on your, on your ads, the first thing that you need to consider is asking for location. Now, always remember yung sinabi ni Ms. Isa, oh, na ang kliyente natin ay visual yan. You need to get unique photos. It has to be something that cuts their eyes. Marami na hong application para, para po kayo makagawa ng mga collage. So pwede na po magdama-download dyan sa app, uh, ano yan, app, ano yan? Uh, Play Store, Google Play Store. And when you do that, no, you can actually make a design for your post that would be uh, palatable to the eyes of our viewers. Kasi you need to catch it eh. Our buyers will never really actually read everything of what you have written there. So, kaya magtatanong yan sila kung meron ba kayong kadalasan. May project ba kayo sa konsolasyon? May project ba kayo sa mandawi? Mga ganun yung tanong eh. Generic. Generic ang tanong. Then this is your job as a property specialist to dissect kung ano ba talaga yung gusto niya na location. So, better ask for the preferred location. So, paano, paano mo siya tanongin? Simple lang, sir. Ano yung preferred location mo? Saan banda? Para he or she will describe probably important landmarks or probably specific barangay ang sasabihin niya. So, importante yon preferred location. Because pag magtanong po tayo kung anong project sa konsulasyon, nako, ang daming project sa konsulasyon. Hindi mo naman pwedeng ibigay lahat yan kasi, number one, baka hindi po swak sa budget niya. No? Kadalasan, ganun tayo magtanong eh, dun sa group chat. May project ba ta sa konsulasyon? Yes, we have. But what project? Yun ang tanong eh. What project? Kasi, ako, minsan pag nakikita ko yung mga question na yan, nahihirapan ako sumagot. Actually, to be honest, bakit to? Because we really don't know what to give and you cannot give everything na nasa lugar na yan dun sa 
sa inquiry. So you better ask the preferred location. Then type of investment. Ano ba yung type na investment na gusto niya? Ito ba ay gusto niya house and lot? Gusto ba niya condominium? Kung house man lot man lang, ano bang gusto niya? Single ba? Ito ba ay townhouse? Yung dikit-dikit? Kung condominium man, ilang, ilang bedroom gusto niya? Or gusto lang ba niya? Studio. So you've got to ask. Yung mga diskusyon na mga ganyan, pinag-uusapan natin yan dun sa jumpstart. Next week ho, Thursday, may jumpstart tayo. Paganda ng paganda yung mga topics natin dun sa jumpstart. And I think next week, Thursday ng gabi, we will be talking about sales process na. So napakagandang topic po yun. So you better not be absent kasi um, continuous learning to eh. Ito yung mga mentorship program natin. Pangatlo ho, you need to be ano, keen on the budget. Dapat keen po tayo sa budget kasi hindi po alam ng kliyente natin yung knowledge of the entire industry. Minsan pa nga, eh, may, mag, may magtanong sa iyo na meron ba kayong project sa Cebu City na 1 million? Mga, mga ganun na mga tanong. Pero the, the reason why we encourage you, I encourage you to attend PKS so that you will have an understanding na dito pala sa lugar na to, ganito na pala yung mga presyo kadalasan. So ibig sabihin, if somebody ask you in Cebu, meron bang bahay at lupa na 1 million, definitely you know the answer that there is none. Alam mo na. So, hindi mo na kailangan maghalughog pa kung meron bang bahay at lupa sa Cebu City na 1 million. Kasi wala kang mahanap. Wala kang mahanap talaga. At hindi alam ng buyer yan. Ikaw ang nakakaalam yan because ikaw yung nag a ng mga seminars. So, kaibigan, ito lang yung sasabihin ko. Pag meron pong nakapost dyan sa mga group chat nyo encouraging you to attend PKS, you attend. Alam mo bakit? Because the more you attend to those PKS, the more you become knowledgeable of projects in a certain location. It's not about na hindi mo concerned kasi ang project na yan ay malayo sa'yo. It's not about that. But it is about understanding in the entire industry na ganito na pala ang kalakaran. Ganito na ba, na, na, na ba talaga ang presyo. At more or less, alam mo paano i-explain sa buyer yan. No? So budget. Very important ang budget. Hindi ka naman pwedeng magtanong actually na kung ano yung kaya. Kasi uh, parang magiging offensive minsan eh, no? ang, ang, ang tanong. So nakalagay po dyan, sinabi ko, amount that, can afford, that you can afford to set aside on a monthly basis. So pwede mong tanungin si buyer na, Ma'am, ano, magkano po ba yung amount na gusto niyong iset aside para dun sa monthly amortization or monthly bayarin ng bahay mo na gusto mong kunin? So, ibig sabihin, pag sinabi niya sa'yo na okay sa akin, okay lang sa akin, uh, Maricel, kung ano eh, kung nasa, ano siguro, at least 15,000 per month, okay pa ako doon. So, more or less, magkakaroon ka ng idea na itong mga project ang hahanapin ko. No? Na, na, nandito sa range na to na ang babayarin ko on the monthly basis is nasa mga 15,000. So, you will not tire of yourself looking for properties na hindi ang ko para sa kanya. Kasi, bakit mo siya bibigyan ng, ng isang property na ang monthly amortization ay 50 mil na samantalang ang kaya niya ay 15,000? So you are wasting your time at you are also insulting her capacity on that level. No? So tamang-tama lang kung ano yung, ano yung dapat. Then when you have that information, kung meron ka na sa information na yan, ang next na step na gagawin mo, pumasok ka dun sa team group chat mo. Di ba may mga team kayo? Uh, Synergy, Dreamer, Latina, ano pa ba yung uh, iba, uh, Diamond. Um, marami pa. No? Iba-ibang iba, iba pangalan ng mga teams. Pumasok kayo doon sa group, yung team group chat nyo po. Pumasok kayo. Kasi doon sa team group chat nyo, nandun din yung apply nyo. Nandun yung apply nyo, nandun yung mga supervisor, managers, and consultant. At nandoon ang bawat isa sa atin. So, if you go to the group chat, mas madali hong makita yan. Okay. Marami sa, marami, marami sa inyo dito na minsan magtatanong sa akin, nag-PM. Hindi ko makikita yan pag-PM. Kasi sa dobro, sobrang dami ng group chat, hindi ko makikita ang PM. Pero pag nilagay niyo po yan sa group chat, makikita ko yan. Kasi lilitaw eh. No? Lilitaw. Ganon din 
ganun din sa inyo. You go to the group chat and you ask in there, baka ho, merong kasamahan tayo na may alam dun sa tinatanong mo. Kasi tinuturo natin dito, eh, everybody who has the information, share, 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 share. Oh, yun ang tinuturo natin. Sharing is loving. Diba? So, pumasok ka sa group chat, tanong ka doon, kasi ang next na step mo, pag meron ng idea na ibibigay sa iyo ang mga kasamahan natin, the next thing you're going to do is if merong PMO ang certain project, you connect to the PMO. Okay. Kung ang isang project meron ng PMO, you connect to the PMO. And if makonek ka na sa PMO, ang next na step mo rin ay magpa-add ka sa group chat ng developer. Ulitin ko. Pag na ka na sa PMO, ma-facilitate ka na ni PMO at magpa-add ka sa group chat ng developer. Bakit kailangan ka magpa-add sa group chat ng developer? Simple lang. Sa group chat ng developer, naandoon din ang developer mismo. So, meaning, if you want a current information, the developer has it. Okay? Tinuturo ko always ito. Hindi po ibig sabihin na wala po tayong trust level dun sa mga PMO or mga uplines natin. But the point here is this. It is well good if we are going to establish a direct contact to the developer because should there be a reservation na mangyayari, you will always be connecting to the developer. Hindi ka naman kukonect dito sa DPPI eh. Sa developer ka naman mag-connect eh. So better establish the connect as early as today. So you ask na ma-add ka dun sa developer's group chat at yung next na goal mo, ayan nakikita dyan, at yung next na goal mo, dapat alam mo ang contact number sa opisina ng developer para makausap mo yung marketing officer nila. Okay. Jov, kailan na ba talagang makausap yung marketing officer nila? Yes. Kasi ho, lahat ng information na meron tayo, pati ako, pati lahat ho, yung apply nyo, yung PMO, pati lahat po yan, yung information na yan, pag, ang, pag nakuha natin ang information na galing sa kanila, ang tawag po dyan ay second-hand information. Sa madaling salita, ang second-hand information, sa Tagalog ho, ang tawag dyan, chismis. Kasi second-hand, eh, pinasa. Niya, eto lang po yung isang message. Kadalasan ho, sa chismis ay mali-mali yan. Hindi ko, hindi ko sinabing mali ang sa mo. Ha? Hindi ko sinabi yan. No, they're doing their best. They're doing their best to deliver the kind of service that we are enjoying. But I want you to, I want you to, to, to develop this habit of really getting the information right from the source's mouth. Horse's mouth, man. Sa source at the horse's mouth. No? Kasi by the time na ang kliyente mo mag-reserve na, you will be connecting to the developer itself. Okay? So nandun yung, nandun yung ball game natin. Nandun yung labanan natin. Okay? So ito po yung mangyayari pag nakakonek ka na sa PMO, nakakonek ka na sa marketing officer ng developer, hindi ka na mamumoblema sa mga information na gusto ng buyer mo kasi meron ka ng source na pwede mong tawagan, yung PMO at yung marketing officer ng developer. Dalawa sila. Kung wala namang PMO, at least makakausap mo ang marketing officer ng developer. So ano yung ibig sabihin? You are going to get a real-time information. So yun po ang, yun po ang ball game natin. So sinet up natin na proseso na to because this is what I have observed over the past 12 years na experience natin sa real estate. That the challenge will always be with information. And we've got to establish the process, so the process para makuha natin yung tinatawag natin na information. Okay? So, yan. O na yan. Next, so, ito. Pag-usapan natin yung price list. Okay? May, na, may mga nakapost na price list dyan sa mga group chat nyo. Okay. Now, iba-iba lang ang itsura niyan. Pero yung laman, pare-pareho lang. Okay. Ito ay isang sample na price list from Sibulan Masters sa Casamira Tower na nasa Mandawe, na nasa alang-alang yan. Okay. Now, busisihin natin yung laman ng price list. 
sa price list ho nandiyan po ang detalye ng unit. Ayun, nakasa yan naka-bracket po yan. Diyan nakikita natin kung ano yung type na unit na meron. In this case, this is a condominium nakalagay diyan ST. Yan ay studio. Nakalagay ang area, yung block at unit number. Kung bahay naman yan nakalagay diyan kung ano yung block at lot number at yung lot area at saka floor area, yun ang nakalagay niyan. So ito sa kilid nito, gilid nito nakasa nakasabi diyan na 26.63 square meters. So ibig sabihin yun ang size ng condo na yan or ng unit na yan. Ngayon, on the next column, makikita mo dyan, list price, transfer charges, total contract price, at RESVN. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? Reservation. So, yung list price, yun yung presyo talaga ng unit. Yung transfer charges, yun yung, yun yung mga babayaran sa BIR na kailangan ng bayaran ng kliyente para ma-transfer yung titulo at yung iba-iba pang mga dock stamp at kung ano-ano pa dyan sa gobyerno. So, ang total ng dalawa na yan, ang tawag po dyan ay total contract price. So, ibig sabihin, yun ang kabuuhan na babayaran. Pero, bakit nilagay dyan list price at saka transfer charges? Ito po. Kasi yung komisyon natin, magbibase po yan sa list price. Hindi po yan magbibase sa total contract price. Kasi yung transfer charges naman na yan, hindi yan pumasok sa developer, pumasok yan doon sa BIR. Okay. So lahat ng gustong ipangot uh, lahat ng gustong itanong ng buyer ay nandito na. Makikita mo na yung presyo. Nimpunta tayo sa next column. Dito sa next column, dito natin makikita kung magkano yung down payment at magkano yung ipapasok sa loan ng banko. Now may mga options dito, option 1, option 2, option 3. Mag, hindi lahat ng develop hindi lahat ng project may mga options pero for the purpose of presentation ito lang sasabihin ko ito may option dito na sabi dito na may spot cost na 5% tapos yung remaining 5% pwedeng bayaran for 40 months so ibig sabihin ang total na down payment nito ay 10% ang pamaraan lang mag spot mag spot ka ng 5% tapos yung kalahati pwede mo nang bayaran for 40 months Uh, yun yung sinabi dyan na 4,000. Yung option 2 naman, nakas, nakasaad dito na pwede mong bayaran spot yung 10%, tapos yung balanse, diretso na. Pwede nang i-loan sa banko. Dito sa pangatlo, nakasaad doon na yung 10% na down payment, pwede bayaran for 42 months. Ayan, nakalagay dyan. Nagyan ko ng arrow. At sa tabi niyan, may nakasulat 90% bank financing. In the case of Sibulan Master, sa project na to, they are offering it bank financing. Pero on general lang ha, on general, yung matira after ng down payment, ang tawag po doon ay loanable amount. Yung loanable amount po ay papasok po yan doon sa pag-ibig or sa banko. Loan na po ang tawag dyan. Loan na po ang tawag dyan. So, ang maging situation dyan, ang tawag dyan ay monthly amortization. Okay? So, yan po lahat, makikita mo yan sa price list. Yung price list na binabato sa mga group chat nyo, merong laman ng ganito yan. Iba-iba lang yung hitsura, basahin nyo. No? Bago magtanong, basahin mo muna kasi yung tinatanong mo, nandun sa price list. Okay? So, kailangan nating aralin yan para, kasi lahat ng mga, mga posibleng tanong, makikita mo na. Makikita mo na actually. Okay? So, yan. Next, so, itong payment to move in timeline. Okay? Um, guys, saglit lang ha. I'll need to get something. I'll...
Okay. Thank you for waiting, no? So, eto. Next. Ito yung timeline, no? Payment to move in timeline. Then after nito, break tayo ng sandali tapos mag-question and answer tayo. Dito sa payment to move in timeline, marami po tayong pwedeng makita dito at masagot dun sa mga tanong ng mga kliyente. Now, ito po ay tatlong segment. On your left side, nandun po yung reservation. Nasa gitna po yung payment of equity or down payment. At sa huli po, sa last, the rightmost portion, yung loan takeout. Okay. Dito tayo muna sa reservation. Lahat ng ibabayad ng kliyente mo bilang reservation, valid po yan sa loob ng 30 days. Ibig sabihin, after 30 days, mag-umpisa na po siyang magbayad ng down payment niya. Itong reservation na to hindi po to siya refundable. No? At hindi rin po tra ito transferable. Okay. During the reservation, ang mga developer, may kanya-kanya po silang requirements dun sa initial na pwedeng isubmit upon reservation. Ang iba, okay lang pag valid ID. Ang iba, hinahanapan ng, ano, ng, ng payslip or proof of income. So the best way to do that, kaya nga sinabi ko kanina, na you need to connect with the marketing officer or marketing staff ng developer para matanong mo kung ano yung kailangan sa reservation. Di ba? So this time, kasi konektado ka na mabilis. No? So isave nyo po yung mga numbers. Guys, yung mga numbers, importante po yun. Mag-save nyo ang mga numbers. Okay? Next. After the reservation ho, 30 days after, papasok na po tayo sa tinatawag na payment of equity or down payment. Para hindi po kayo malito, pag sinabi po natin equity, pareho lang po yun sa down payment. Okay. Ang equity at down payment ho, spread po yan. One month to 48 months. Usually, ang nakikita ko, na, nakikita ko ngayon sa mga developer. One to 48 months. Um, wala pa ako nakita nga down payment na 60 months. No? Ito yung pinaka-highest ko nakita na down payment at 48 months. So, ano bang value niyan? Ano bang, ano bang kahulugan dyan? Ayan, sinulat ko dyan sa baba. No? If you may look at it on the screen. Sinabi ko dyan na etong payment of equity na period, ito pala yung construction period of the project din. Ulitin ko, ang payment ng equity na period, etong period na to, ito rin ang construction period ng project. Ibig sabihin, within that timeline na project, no? within that project timeline, Kung sinabi na 48 months, ibig sabihin 48 months din siya matatapos ang isang proyekto. Okay. So ano yung value dyan? Anong value? May mga taong or mga klienteng magtanong kung kailan ang turnover. Okay. Pag may magtanong na kailan ang turnover, ibig sabihin, pwede mo nang sagutin. Ang turnover, ma'am, is on or before 48 months. Kasi iyan ang construction period eh. Yan ang construction period. Okay. So, tingnan natin, look at the bracket na nasa itaas. From the reservation papunta sa mga middle of payment of equity, mangyayari po dyan ang signing of documents and submission of the rest of the documents. Ibig sabihin, yung mga kulang na mga dokumento na kailangan para maiprocess ang loan isusubmitin na, na papunta sa developer at mangyayari na rin po dyan yung signing ng contract to sell. No? May contract to sell yan eh. So may signing ng contract to sell. Okay. Now, right at the middle, no, sa kalagitnaan ng pagbabayad ng down payment, hanggang sa katapusan ng pagbabayad ng down payment, dyan din po mangyayari na mag-uumpisa na mag-loan process. Yung developer, loan processing begins. Just in time na matapos yung bahay or matapos yung unit, yung condo. Bakit, Jof? Okay, ito yung value. Hindi po pwedeng ma-release or ma-loan take out hanggat 
hindi po, po hindi pa ho tapos ang bahay or ang condominium. Ulitin ko ha, general rule po 'yan. Hindi po ma-release ang pera na nailon sa pag-ibig or sa bangko kung hindi pa po tapos ang bahay. So ibig sabihin sa kalagitnaan ng pagbabayad ng equity hanggat matapos ang unit, mag-uumpisa lang sila or magpo-process lang sila ng loan. Ibig sabihin, ang developer magsusubmit sa papunta sa pag-ibig or papunta sa bangko, ipoprocess ng pag-ibig, titingnan nila kung maa-approve ba, kung ma-approve na, hindi nila i-release ang pera hanggat hindi nila makita muna ang bahay or ang condominium. Sino ang titingin job? Si, si pag-ibig o or si bangko. Kailangan ba talaga nilang tingnan? Yes. Batas natin yan. So, ibig sabihin, walang mangyayari na loan takeout pag hindi pa tapos ang bahay or hindi pa tapos ang isang kondominium. So, that's the reason why pwede mong sabihin sa kliyente mo na ang expected turnover ng project na yan ay on or before 48 months. Bakit ho? Kasi walang mangyayari na loan release hanggat hindi ho tapos ang bahay or condo. Okay? So maliwanag na ba? Maliwanag na, no? Now, anong mangyayari pag okay na? Tapos ng bahay, tapos ng unit, na isubita na lahat ng dokumento, na, na forward na sa pag-ibig or sa bangko, ngayon, magpapalabas na ngayon ang bangko or ang pag-ibig ng approval nila. Okay. Pag lumabas yung approval, ito yon. Pag lumabas yung approval ng bangko, ayan, or pag-ibig, magpo-proceed na tayo sa loan takeout. Merong isang ano diyan, uh, hindi ko lang nasulat, no. Merong isang activity diyan na mangyayari. Ito yung tinatawag natin na punch listing. Itong punch list na to, ito yung actually proseso na kailangan ng i-receive ni buyer ang unit. Pag hindi ni-receive ng buyer ang unit, hindi po ma-release ang loan papunta sa developer mula sa pag-ibig or mula sa bangko. So kailangan, kailangan na ma-receive ni buyer muna bago i-release ang loan. Okay. So may listahan na gagawin ang developer at ito ay kailangan i-confirm ni buyer. Ang nakalagay sa listahan na yan ay lahat ng ginamit na, or materyales na nasa bahay na yan. Mula doon sa pintuan, mula sa doorknob, umpisahan. So i-check yan isa-isa. Doorknob, okay lang ba? Check. Pintuan, okay ba? Check. Bintana, okay ba? Check. Kung okay siya lahat, check, 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 then pwede nang pumirma si buyer na okay. Receive in good condition. Okay. Ano yung, ano yung, ano yung message dyan? Ibig sabihin, itong maliit na papel na to, ito yung bibit-bitin ni developer papunta sa banko o sa pag-ibig at sasabihin niya na pag-ibig, banko. Ayan o, oh, tinanggap na ni buyer. Pinirmahan niya ang punch list. <coughs> ang gagawin ni banko o ni pag-ibig, i-release na niya ang pera dun sa developer. Pag na-release na ang pera sa developer, yan, lilipat na si client sa bago niyang bahay. Move in na yan. Move in na ang tawag siya. So, yan ang proseso from payment to move-in timeline. Okay? Ano bang participation ni agent dyan? Ano bang participation natin dyan? Sa totoo lang, guys, messenger lang kayo dyan. Sa totoo lang, ha? Messenger lang kayo dyan. Kayo lang yung nagtagahatid ng requirements. Pero ngayon, wala, mas lalong wala na tayong gagawin kasi email na lang eh. So, ikaw lang yung nagpa-facilitate. Okay? So, question muna bago ako mag-proceed sa remaining slides.
para matapos tayo bago, bago mag-12. No? May questions po ba? Yes, meron. Sige, Pastor Adam. <coughs> kanang kwan, sir. Kanang, kanang gitawag o early move-in. May tabo ba na in 36 months? Early move-in. Oh, kay na na naman na una pagka uh, human ng mga balay. Walay problema na pastor. Ang imong indi ang indicator jan is the finished unit. Yes. Muna muna ikaw ano na kung yes. What pasabot ba? Yes. Finish na yun. Dress up. Dress up na. Yes. On or before? Eh. On or before? Yeah. Muna muna kung kwan unsa ka unsa kataas ng before? Is it one year? Nobody knows. It depends in the construction. Basta, basta young period of payment of equity, that is the construction period. Because young oh. period ng down payment na yan, yan din ang report ng developer sa HLURB na makomplete niya ang project. So, ibig sabihin, okay. pag lumagpas sa dyan, may penalty si developer. Kaya hindi niya ipapalagpas dyan sa defined na number or the period ng construction or yung equity period. So, kung, so, kung matapos niya na early ang bahay na yan, ibig sabihin mag-proceed siya sa loan processing. Okay. That's the reason oh. why may mga cases na magsabay ang monthly amortization sa pag-ibig or banko at saka payment ng down payment. May mga cases oh. ganun eh. Oh. Dahil maagang natapos Mm. Yeah, may merong may mga units na maagang matapos after 24 months. Mm. Matapos na yung isang yes. block. Yes. Turnover 'yan. Oh, okay. Sige, I I understand, sir. Mm. Okay. Any more question? Okay. Sige. Sir Ah, sige. Grace. <laughs> Ako lagi nag-question eh, no? Ayaw sila mag-question, sir, eh. Sir, titanong ko lang po. Di ba sabi mo para mag penalty yung mga developer once na pagkatapos ng down payment, uh, hindi na bigay sa, ano, sa yes. unit owner? Uh -oh. Pero kasi minsan, there are times kasi, sir, na hindi nangyayari yung ganon. Para nabigyan na lang yung loan, nag-loan nag take out na. Kasi ito sir, based may experience ha. Nag-loan take out na, okay na sa bahay. Pero ang tagal pang binigay ng developer. Yung kasi, unit cash yung hindi para tapos. So dapat grace. pala sir, nag-penalty sila, di ba sir? Hindi Grace, walang mangyayari na loan take out hanggat hindi tapos ang unit. Kailan nangyari yan? Hindi yes, sir. Nangyari, ano to sir, true to life story to. Yeah, sige, kailan, kailan nangyari yan? Para maging aware lang po yung lahat. So, itong, especially itong bahay po namin din sa Gentry. Kailan nangyari? Uh, nung uh, loan take out na siya, it's, kasi nang tapos yung equity namin is December. Nag-reserve nag kasi kami ng December. So, ngayon, one, ngayon? One, one year lang. Hindi sir, nang nakara. Mga one year, two years ago, bago pa lang naman ako ito sir. Sige. So, mga one year, Natapos na, tapos na loan take out na sa bangko yung unit, pero actually hindi pa naibigay yung unit. Actually, inaway ko na talaga sa developer. Ito, 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 kasi kasi may, may mali doon eh. May mali doon eh. Number one, mm. ang, kahit ikaw mag-process mismo ngayon, hindi mm. mangyayari, pwedeng, mang, pwedeng may mangyari nga loan processing Pero walang mangyayari na loan take out hanggat hindi tapos ang bahay or or bahay or condo. Ngayon, ang question ko, saan mo ba ni loan 'yan? Sa please. Sa 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 pag-ibig. Sa pag-ibig Grace. Hello Grace. Hello, sir. Question. Yes, sige, ma'am. Sir, ka nang mangutana lang ko, sir, ba? Base na lang sa experience ni mo, sir, ba? Ka nang kung pananlitan lang, sir, ba? Sa mga titulo, sir, ka nang mahinabo ba sa inyo, ha, sir, nga ka nang dugay bito kayo i-release, sir, nga ka nang mangutana, manggani sa amu, a-inkis, sir, ka nang unsay 
mayo na mo to bag sir kay bisag ako ang mga good sir kana mismo ako ang balay sir ba fully paid na since 2017 niya wala pa magui title hunted taro niya bangko ko ni agi niya wa na sa kudit na sa nako ma reach out ang agent na ako ba so taro na naman ko sa position niya unsa ka ay kana asa kang project ma mina sa mahalang experience sa mamaayo matubag na ko ani bit sir unsa kang project asa ka ga stay ma'am karon unsa nga project unsa nga subdivision Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am Wing. Na na putol si ma'am Wing. I really wanted to ask what's the division, because we are into development selling. Most likely, we don't we don't encounter that much of a problem with the title. No? So, gusto kong tanungin yun kung saan project or baka personal or private na bahay lang. Ano ba? Ma sir, nawawala kasi yung ano, line. Ay, Grace. Sige, Grace. Apo, nawawala. Um, Actually, pati din siya ata nawala din. Kasi kayo na nagsulti ko, nawala din. Uh, nawala sige, din Grace. Ba babalikan natin yung sa'yo. Um, ah, sige pa. Last year yan. Ah, oh, sir. Uh, last year yon. Tapos, okay. uh, supposed to be, diba, January, ma mag-turn over na, diba? Kasi na-loan takeout na siya, eh. Yun yung, yun yung, ano, yun yung maging proseso. Di, Tapos, pa, 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 paano siya na-loan takeout? Kasi, sa bank, ko, sa bank ko, sir, may email na yun, eh. Tapos, start na ako ng payment for monthly amortization, eh. Pagdating ng January, Automatic yun, sir. Nagbayad na ako ng for uh, monthly amort na. So, mayroon to say, na loan takeout na siya kasi ADA yun eh. ADA, auto-deduct siya. Uh, okay, walang problema doon. Eh, yung, yung bahay? Yung bahay, sir, nakuha na namin ng June. So, six months pa. Kasi may mali eh. Wala, oh, wala, sir, wala, mali. Wala, wala, kasing, wala kasing mangyari na loan takeout hanggat hindi tapos ang bahay. Kasi... Kailangan nila, no? Kailangan nila bangko sila na ma-receive yung unit eh. Kailangan yung punch list eh. Pag-ibig nga, hindi po pwede eh. Oh, yun nga, yun nga sir, nangyari. Kasi dapat hindi pa kami mag-start ng monthly amort, di ba? Kasi wala pa yung unit. Yes. Pero, ang nangyari nun sir, uh, nag-start na yung monthly amortization, pati yung MRI, automatic yun eh. Di ba? Automatic siya. Tapos, uh, nangyari yun, six months na at sabi sa akin ng, ng, ng developer, hindi pa rin nalalagay yung, yung bawal sa CR. Inawi ko talaga, sir. Kasi sabi ko, alam ko namang gawa na yan eh. Ako, linuloko niyo ako, sabi ko sa kanya. Tsaka besides, bayad na yan ni Bangko. Ako ang mautang kay Bangko kasi naka-mortgage na yan. Hindi ko nakaslana kung wala kay engineer ngayon. Oh, diba, kasi ganit ganit ganito yung Grace eh. Um, number one, may mali dyan. Yun sa developer mm. na yan. Um, anong banko ang ginamit mo? Metro Bank. Metro Bank. So may mali rin doon. Kasi wala, mm -hmm. dito, sa, dito sa Visayas, as far as, uh, kasi hindi ko kabisado dyan Luzon eh. As far as Visayas Apo. is concerned, wala tayong cases na ganun eh. Kasi mm -hmm. dito, kailangan talaga ma-receive doon sa punch list. Kasi required siya eh. Yun ang, mm -hmm. yun, nasa batas yun eh. Nasa batas Apo. yun na kailangan ma-receive muna ni buyer bago i-release ang pera dun sa developer at after maka, after ma-turn over, maka-move in si buyer, mag-uumpisa ang bayad 30 days after oh, while nakatira ka na. Yun, yun dapat. Oh, yes, yun dapat. Dapat, sir. Dapat oh, so ganun. Doon ka pumunta sa HLURB niyan. Doon ka magreklamo. Uh, dapat doon pala ako nagreklamo, uh -huh. sir. Doon ka magreklamo. Ang kaso ka, siyempre, inisip ko nalang kasi, ah, Christiana naman to, hayaan nalang. Pero, uh, ang point ko nun, sir, paano bag sa ibang tao mangyari, di ba? Uh, sa HLURB yan, kasi kapal, kapalpakan yan ng, ng, ng developer, developer at ng, hmm. ng, ng, ng ahensya ng, ba, ng banko. Pero, but on the normal cases talaga, dito sa, dito sa, uh, dito sa Cebu, ha? I cannot speak in behalf of Manila. Dito talaga, hmm. we've got to go to the process of punch listing 
as in isa-isa isa-isa talaga kasi pag merong damage 'yan iri, hindi mo tatanggapin eh so kailangan nilang i-refurbish muna bago bago mo ano bago mo tanggapin at saka na magre-release ang bangko yang batas na 'yan or yang regulation na 'yan ano kasi yan eh uh, pinalabas yan right after nung kay Gloria Arroyo na Globe Asiatic na situation Papa. na maraming na na release na pera ng loan pero only to find out na ghost loan pala yon so mm-hmm. after noon yung kongreso natin nagpalabas ng ano regulation at inipacted yon ng HLURB na yun na yung magiging proseso na mm-hmm. as much as possible yun bago ang ang turnover o bago ang bayaran kailangan nandoon na ang, ang ang unit kung hindi pa tapos ang unit kahit approved yan sa bangko hindi yan i-release dapat ni bangko mm-hmm. dapat sir ganun talaga dapat na dapat ganun Do- Pero, ganun dapat reality oh. so <laughs> doon ka sa HLURB niyan sana sana oh kasi sana. yun ang, yun yun ang role ni HLURB eh Ah, sana, uh, yun, sana. yun ang yun ang role ni HLURB na pag mayroong mga mga ganun. Uh, siya yung mm-hmm. nagano, siya yung siya yung magiging middle person. Mm-hmm. Yun talaga, talaga mm-hmm. dapat ang mangyari sa para yun nga tapos Ano pangalan ng sabi, developer sabi, na yan? Ito sir, sabi ko mag ano tara na tayo dito, pro friends to eh, pro friends. Ewan ko uh, kung connected na ba tayo para na sabi ko to kay Ma'am Linet. Kasi oh, sinabi, sinabi ni ako naman. Sinabi mm-hmm. ni Ma'am Ophil. Actually, para, sir, para, nakita para ko naman, may ginagawa na naman. Hindi pa yata, sir. Hindi ako sure. Pero mukhang wala pa yata. Actually, yan, Tapos, yan, sir, yan, yung, yan yung developer na pinuntahan ni Ma'am Ophil na sinabihan siya na magbenta na lang muna kayo, Ma'am. Saka na, ah. saka na kayo mag-submit ng accreditation <laughs> pag, pag, pag may benta na. Yan, yan yung developer na yan. Oh. <laughs> At na medyo nagkakababla. Actually, sir, kaya nga po, nakita ko naman si may bagong talagang gawa. Kasi kaya sinabi ko doon sa ano eh, sa developer na huwag nyo kami lalokoy kasi alam ko na may nakita ko noong kayong ginagawa. Gawa naman na yung unit. Pinapatagal nyo lang kasi gawa na nila yung unit. Eh. Ang dami ginagawa dito yung unit, sir, eh, bago uh, sa ibang zone. Kaya naging nga problema sa pating ng, <laughs> ng turnover ng unit. Kasi ang point ko doon, sir, alam ko nagawa niya na siya. May gawa uh, na dito eh. Wala pa nga tao. So yun ang sasabi ko sila, gawa na siya. Tapos ang point ko nun, dapat bago kayo nag-aano, bago nyo kinuha yung proceeds ng bank, dapat inayos nyo muna. ba diba, sir? Oh. Yun talaga ang dapat. Pero Tapos, ba- ba- kaya, bakit, bakit ba't kayo na-release ni bank ko? No? Kasi dapat hindi siya mag-release eh. Ayun nga sir, inaway ko na rin yung banko. Eh. Sabi ko nga sa kanya, dapat ano, kasi ako ang mauta na sa inyo. Baga, bay- di na kasi nangilam si developer kasi hayahay na siya, di ba? Nasa kanya na yung proceeds, di ba? Oh. Kasi ang, 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 sir, yung basic, kliyente. kasi ang basic mechanics ng banko, Grace, eto yan eh, ba- bakit kailangan ng banko or pag-ibig na nandyan na yung bahay? Kasi mag-appraise, mag-appraisal siya eh. Hindi niya hmm. magawa yung appraisal dun sa unit hanggat hindi niya nakikita yon Yun yung point dun eh. Kailangan niya ng appraisal. Mm-hmm. So, ibig sabihin, in nila na walang appraisal-appraisal. Siguro, ayun na nangyari. Uh, Kasi, di mo sir, January, nag- monthly amort na ako, nakuha ko yung bahay dito. Pero hindi yung July, tama. July, inaway-away. <laughs> inaway-away ko pa talaga, sir. Uh, pero hindi Kung yung hindi tama. Hindi ko inaway-away. Oo nga, so, sir. Eh. So, ngayon, ikaw, na, nandito ka na ngayon. So, yun, tanungin mo. Yun talaga, by, by this time, the moment you have your client, you will be really meticulous with that. Hmm. Kasi na, alam ko yung pakiramdam eh na ganon. Kaya nga, lagi ko sinasabi. Actually, ayaw ko sana i-offer ito dito yung area na to Pero, the area itself ko naman kasi, yung bahay talaga, so hindi naman kaaya-aya. Ibig sabihin, okay naman siya, fully, uh, semi-furnished. Pero, ibig sabihin, the community itself. Kasi sabi ko sa kliyente na, sir, uh, sir lahat na po ng develop, lahat naman po ng mga projects, may mga flaws naman talaga yan. Parang isipin mo talaga sa yung lupa na lang po na nag a po siya. Kasi, uh, ba, ayusin mo pag ganyan, ganyan. So, doon lang po ako nagkakaroon ng, uh, uh, ng, ng conversation to them. Tapos sabi ko, sir, actually, hindi naman mismo binabayaran mo yung lupa, yung community itself, eh, yung convenience, yung ganito, uh-huh. yung area. So sabi ko, lahat naman po na ng mga developer, may mga flaws naman talaga yan, pero tinan mo lang po on the other side. So, on my case, sir, kaya ang ginagawa ko, kasi ito kasi yung bahay dito, nakapalan sa akin. Oh. Yung kaya ang inaano ko, masyado akong keen on details, kasi alam ko yung pakiramdam eh. 
ng aawayin mo. Kailangan uh-huh. pa si kliyente mag-away para mabigay. Tatarayan mo na yung mga ganyan. So, kaya, tapos yung nasabi din po ni ma'am kanina, may ganun kasi king case na nabayaran na, full payment na. Pero na, na di ba sabi, so may charges sa BIR na binabayaran for the title itself. Pero para ang tagal ng release ng title. Well, in fact, babayaran pa uli ni ni kliyente yung title. Di ba kasama sa sa TCP yun? Um, ang title, uh, kaya nga tig, gusto kong tanungin yung si, si Mamueng kanina. Kasi mm-hmm. pag nag-loan po tayo, yung titulo mo, sing case sa bahay mo, ang titulo mo ay wala na sa developer, nandun sa bangko. Bangko. Apa. Nasa bangko. So, ibig sabihin, Apa. ang mag release ng titulo ay ang bangko or ang pag-ibig okay. na. Kasi naka-mortgage naka yan eh. Mm-hmm. Kung may babayaran man tayo dyan na ano, na upon claiming the, the title, yun ang pagtanggal ng, ano, ng mortgage. Kasi na, ah, naka, okay. naka, naka-register yun sa Registry of Deeds eh. So, yung, yung sinanla natin na bahay, nirehistro yan sa Registry of Deeds. So, para, mm-hmm. para malinis yung titulo paglabas ng bangko, kailangan matanggal siya muna doon sa Registry of Deeds na nakasanla. So, kailangan talaga ma-annotate doon sa titulo na ito ay bayad na at wala ng obligation. So, malinis na. So, kadalasan, hinihingi yan ni pag-ibig at ni banko na payment para pangtanggal dun sa, ano, sa mortgage, kumbaga. So, kaya nang gusto kong itanong yung kay Ma'am Weng kung kanino ba siya, ito ba ay subdivision ba? na loan ba niya? Kasi kung na-loan niya, ang titulo kasi, pag na-loan na, wala na yan sa developer nandun na yan sa bangko. sa bangko at saka sa pag-ibig. Yung original na titulo ha, yung, yung TCT kumbaga. So, Apa. kasi yun yung ano eh, yun yung collateral eh, dun sa loan natin. Mm-hmm. So, ipo-forward yan. So, dun na tayo maniningil actually sa bangko kung saan tayo nakalon. So, in your case, uh, dun ka kay Metro Bank. No? Mm-hmm. Pero sir, mga roughly estimate, aabot ba ng mga 5,000 yan? Para at may idea lang? Or depende? Um, honestly, uh, well, wala akong uh, idea kasi iba iba siya eh. Uh, BIR mm. kasi ang magsiset din. So, pero ah, itanong okay. natin kasi iba rin yung zonal nyo sa, sa lugar nyo eh. Opo, yung zonal uh, value, yun kasi, na siya. Gusto kasi, ko rin malaman eh. Uh, ang, ang punta ka sa assessors, yun, yun ang merong meron record doon sa assessors ah, office. Okay. Uh, lahat ng lahat ng uh, lahat ng zone, lahat ng assessment patungkol sa lugar, buong lugar ang may hawak niyan assessor's office. Uh, sila ah, yung okay. sila yung may may zonal value eh. Okay. Kasi dapat naman talaga sa assessors eh quarterly dapat sila titingin kung ano yung economic development sa lugar. Eh kaso kadalasan mm-hmm. sa isang isang city hall, isang assessors. Oh, uh, isa lang. So eh, paano niya gagawin yan? Ang laki ng buong lugar. Uh, oh. So eh, yung kakulangan ba? Kakulangan ng mm-hmm. ng tauhan. Pero yun sana dapat kasi may every, every 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 quarter kasi merong nangyayaring economic development sa lugar. So yun mm-hmm. ay magkakaroon ng impact doon sa zonal value at magiging mm-hmm. impact na rin sa fair market value. So ibig sabihin, hindi kasi ibig sabihin na mura ito yung bili mo, hindi na rin nag-iba ang presyo. Nag-iba yan, pero kailangan ng i-determine ni, ni assessor's office na ito na yung zonal value ngayon, ito na yung fair market value para kung magbenta ka, at least nag-appraise na rin, kumita ka rin. Mm, so, okay, so tatanong yun sir sa assessor Assessor siya, yung zonal value uh, Doon sa, ah, okay. sa mga city hall natin or mga municipal hall natin Naku, saan connected yung lupa? Uh, <laughs> ah, kasi, sir, kasi na Sige, sige ma'am <laughs> Sir, paano yung Three Amelia question. na yun? Again, again Grace? Ah, sige, paano yung Amelia payment sir? Uh, ah. Si buyer na yung magbabayad every year Yes, si buyer na Mm, doon sa paano mo nalaman so kailangan ka magbayad ng amilyar pupunta muna sa baka sa City Hall uh, sa o City paano? Hall City Hall ma'am city sila hall. sila yung uh, actually assessor's office din ang magano niyan eh mag-initiate sila yung magpapadala ah, okay so for example sir na loan take out na siya ng isa ng kliyente one year di ba babayaran hmm. pa ni developer the second hmm. year ah, si na. buyer na si buyer na ah buyer na ah, ah, okay. Sige, basta ma-turn over na yung ownership kasi sa atin eh nakasanla na siya eh ah, ah. 
So, sa second year na po, si Bayer na. Ah, uh, sa si Bayer na. Ah, okay. Uh, sige. Thank you, sir. Yun na po. Okay. Minita na na po si ma'am. Sige. Thank you. Sige, sige ma'am Weng. Ma'am Weng ba yun? Sige, ma'am. Balika, balika, balika na ko ito yung question, ma'am. Hello, ma'am Weng. Ba Hello? Hello, sige, sir? Katong imo, imo. Hello? Ma yes, ma'am. Luther, bahin sa... Hmm. Hello ma'am. Ah, uh, dili na ko dili na ko maklaro ma'am ha. Ah, ikasus. Hello sir, kan na ko. Hello ma'am. Hello ma'am. Hello. Ah, uh, sige daw ma'am, try ma'am. Hello. Hello. Sige daw ma'am. Hinayan hina, hina, lang ma'am kay Murag. Murag sa Hello ma'am. Murag na putol ka ma'am. Hello ma'am Weng. Oh, gusto kong sagutin yung ano niya eh. Yung question niya para... Ano, para maging malinaw. Sana ba si Ma'am Weng? Ma'am Weng. Ah, wala, naputol. Sige ho, uh, while waiting kay Ma'am Weng, baka may mga, may mga interesting questions pa po kayo dyan. No? Dito si Mine, sinong mag inspect Si engineer ba? Hindi po, ma'am. Hindi po ang engineer. Ang kliyente po. Kasi siya po yung mag -re receive ng unit. No? So, wala pong kinalaman ang city engineer's office po dyan. Ang kliyente mismo ang mag i inspection ng, ng bahay. No? Kasi siya yung mag -re receive ng, ano, ng unit. May mga questions pa po ba? Nako, hindi na naka-connect pabalik si ma'am. Okay. Um, I will just take on the assumption doon kay ma'am ha na yung, yung unit niya ay na nabili niya ay hindi sa isang developer. Kasi kung na-loan siya, na-loan siya sa banko or sa pag-ibig, yung concern niya na titulo ay nasa banko yan or nasa pag-ibig. So, meaning, hindi na po yung issue doon sa developer kundi nasa agency na po na nagbigay ng loan. Now, kadalasan, bago po ma-release ang titulo talaga, ay may babayaran doon na yung pangtanggal sa mortgage kasi nakaano po yan eh naka annotate po yan doon sa Registry of Deeds. So, kailangan muna siyang, bago nila i-release, kailangan matanggal. So, yun ay, ang bay bayad niyan are on us kasi yan eh. Doon sa, sa yan, si Ma'am Weng. Sige, Ma'am Weng. Hello? Sige, Ma'am Weng. So, oh, oh, bahin sa... Titulo, Ma'am. Bahin sa title, sir, ba? O oh, basag na kay ika-adyas sa pasit. Ako mismo na... Ano ma'am, asa ka nga, asa na nga subdivision? Sa kanang ko answer, Camilla Homes ka ng Tamilawaan 3, Talisay. Okay, asa ni mo na loan ang imong balay ma'am? Kadiri ko ni Agi Crown Communities o niya, fully paid na ko through BDO. BDO? BDO? Oo, sir. Okay, Oo, ano ni siya ma'am? Um, based, uh, based sa actual good nga process, ang ang nibayad sa imuhang balay si BDO actually dito ni Camelia. Ang imuhang mm -hmm. titulo gi-release na ni Camelia pa doon ni BDO. Kay mao man to ang naka naka mortgage. Wala po sir. Dili man siya pwede ma'am, kay kinahanglan okay. ma-notate man siya. Hello ma'am? Wala jud sir, ang gihatag sa BDO sa ako ah. Hello sir, ang gihatag sa BDO ko ah sir. Letter lang siya nga, wapagin na ko maablihin some sort of certification of full payment. 
Mao lagi mamba ang proseso ma'am bisag asa ta magloan ang katong original nga title or ang title itself adto na siya i-forward sa bangko or sa pag-ibig na nag-grant sa loan. So meaning gi-collateral man ang ang, ang titulo. Na dito na kag video ma'am. Wala pa gid sir. Dito na kag video. Unsa may ingon sa video nimo? Ang anak na lang kog ikaduhan ang anak. Di, unsa may gingon? Tagaan ako letter sir, kaya wag ko na i-document nga. Oh, gitagaan ako nila letter nga kana certification of full payment kaya wala gi ko na documents nga na forward ang kuan sa Ilaha, ang Crown Community sa Ilaha since 2017 pa ko fully paid sir. Kay kay normally ma'am adto man gyud sa bangko. Normally ba, o normal cases. Adto gyud siya sa sa bangko. Ya, adto pud na siya sa kung kaso bangko or kaso pag-ibig adto gyud na siya. Kay dito man na giprinda in short. Wala gid sir. Uh, I think ma'am you have to go back oh, dito sa bangko kay. Man, oh, may... Sa bangko gid ma'am. Kay dito girilisa naman si Camelia, si bangko gid ang pangayuan ato sa titulo. Og dili sir kan ang gihatag nila na ko ron is direkta na ko makipag-communicate sa Camelia nya. Karon wa na ko kibaw asa ko dapita sa gobyerno mo adto ba nga magsige man sila ingon nga process na raw, process na raw, process na raw. Now you go to the Camellia office. Kung if ever ingon ana, pero normally gidon ta dapat si bangko dapat nana dito ang titulo. Na ano sir? Dito na sa ko sir. Pati pag yung layo anya tago si Bobby ako sir niya asa to ilaha AS Fortuna ang ilahang office karon nga bago. Oh. Dito na ko sir niya may ragi hapon sir. Makahatag ni ko sa ngan ganis sir kaya na aman ng email sa ako alas na email sa ako ani agi na lang tag pandemya so was ako ni email. Ang email sa kuwa, process lang gihapon, process niya. Huwag makasugat ko client, sir, ba niya? Ingunan niya gihapon, taxit, sag ko? Dili man, ma'am. Because in the normal cases, ma'am, nalagi gigit siya sa bangko. I mean ba? Wala gigit ko, sir. I cannot speak in that behalf. Then you go you go to Camellia. Because in the normal cases, sa karo, mabit ako na i-punch list. Dili gigit siya i-release. Dili gigit siya i-release ni bangko ang bayad nga to sa developer. Kung dili gigit i-receive ni buyer. In fact, so mawag yun natin mailahan nga si developer add to niya ihatag ang titulo sa bangko o sa pag-ibig. Okay. Nga nung mo-release man siya gloan ba? Technically, nga nung mo-release man siya. So there must be something peculiarity between anak nga transaksyon. Something different ba? Kay, sure. Kay, ganang one, one, one in a million case ba? So, di man na magpasabot na. Dito. Di man na magpasabot na. Nahitabo ni mo. Nahitabo tanan. Kay, mo mag yun yung normal nga process. Dito, sir. Ganang, naman ba kayo ika-advise na ko, sir? Sa'yo may bato na ko, ni sir. Kay, nalilip na ko ba? Asa ko kay, nasa na 2020 na good. Three years ago na good. Grabe, sir. Kadugay, titulong na sa doon. Oh, di na ko kayo nga balay. The only, the only, the only, agency region na imong pwedeng atuon ma'am it's your RB region. Kay mao man na ang governing bodies ana nga nga ani nga industry. HLURB. Asa ana ko sila pag contact sir? You go to the 14th floor of Metro Bank Plaza. Na sila diha. Metro Bank. Hmm. Metro Bank Plaza 14. Asa na dapita sir? Sa Nasa Puente, Puente. Metro Bank Plaza. Okay. 14th kay, floor. Kay, kay in the normal cases ma'am mao gyud siya. I mean I mean, sa kadaghan diha na namuyo sa kamilya, meaning, oh, bitaw, meaning, meaning one, one in a rare case ang imuha. So there must be some something, there must be an explanation ba? Bitaw, uh, ni ni ato ka sa office sa kamilya na anak, nag na mo. Oh, na oh sir, usap pa lang akong anak sir, karun, duhan akong anak. Ang sama yun, sama yun. Kusus na. Sige, busy lang. When was the last time? When was the last time you go there? 2000. 2018. Oh, you 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 try to go back again. 2018, sir. You you try to go back again. Uh, if you can have time, because ah, sige sir. It it is. Sige sir. Kanang it 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 will not really accomplish anything. Man, sad good ma'am. Kung kung kanang Dili yun yung musukit-sukitun ba? Because duha lang man ka-person ang involved na si BDO at si Camelia. Maura man ang two person mm. involved. O niya, gauging on the cases also, dakhan mang namuyo dito. So meaning, one of a case. 
So, the meaning But that also, if climate change something did to, now what causes the delay? Ano ba? There must be an explanation ba what causes the delay. The delay, man siya, delay man siya in the normal process. So, if you could drop by the Camellia office, mm -hmm. much better. And if possible, kanang antog yung ka makatok yun sa the right person ba? Sa documentation na nila, ma'am? Naman yung charge yung hapag sa kuha, sir. Naman yung in charge, ana. Okay, so far, ang uban man, pas-pas naman sila mo, Ashton. Basta na yung mga ingon, ana. Mau gani, ani sir, mau gani. Nibong ko ba niya? Kung karun, ana ko sa ingon, ana, nga posible niya. Hindi ko ko na una. Okay, it's a rare case, actually. Okay, sa kadaghan na itong mga subdivisions na naa. Mabi ito na ang, after Gloria Makapagal Arroyo, na katong Globa Shati, ang mga loan processing yun doon is very, very, ano na yun, very careful na number one, dili, dili pwedeng mag-release of loan kung wapang mahuman ang balay. Number two, kanilang ma-receive yun ni buyer before, before i-release. Dudaghan ang mga patakaran ba because ni, ni tagam na po ng gobyerno. So if in case na yung mga ingonana, ang imong dangpanan yun is HLURB kay mauman na ang regulating body na mo overseas industry. So, pwede na po na nila ipatawag si Camellia to give you further explanation. But give it a try. You go to Camellia office once again, then after which, pag di, you ka masatisfy, then you can go to HLURB. Kaya ang proteksyonan yun sa HLURB, ang konsumidor man po yun. Okay. So, murag na putol siguro si ma'am, no? I would not hold you long na, no? Because alas 12 na, ting paniod to na. So, thank you very much. Later this afternoon, there is a PKS by Pryland. Link will be distributed, distributed short, uh, shortly um, in your respective group, group chat, no? They are using Google Meet, no? So, thank you and God bless you all. Bye-bye.